Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Since it's Christmas Eve, I decided to talk about some movies I like to watch at Christmas time. And before I start the video, I want to know from you guys what Christmas movies you like to watch, or do you watch Christmas movies, and uh, who do you usually watch them with? So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's begin. So I'm going to get the anime special out of the way first. So the anime special is Love Hangouts Christmas Special. Um, Love Hangouts an anime I absolutely adore. I started watching it back when I was in high school. It was one of the first anime I actually watched, which I didn't actually grow up watching, like I did with car captors and Pokemon and stuff like that. And I don't think the show is as good as I remember it being. I remember going back and watching the episodes not too long ago, and it's like, uh, it's... It's got its ups and downs, but um, the Christmas special I still do fairly enjoy watching. Um, if you are going to watch this Christmas special, I advise you watch the anime first, and then you actually watch the two Christmas special afterwards. Um, as I said, it's not really a, a full movie. It's more of a um, full-length episode, like an hour-long episode. Um, so the basic premise of it is that two of the side characters, Kyola and Sir, found a note in Naru's bedroom. Naru is the main character, Kitaro's love interest, and they tell Kitaro that this letter is for him. They think it's for him, and they tell it's for him. Um, he is over the moon with this. He ends up breaking his leg, and. He ends up confessing to Nari that he actually likes her. Um, unfortunately, the note was not for him, and he finds it out the hard way when he sees her give it to one of the other characters in the anime, and he just absolutely is devastated. Um, I remember watching this back in the day, and I was just like, "Damn, that is just like cool as fuck." Um, it's one of those moments which just gives you the feels. It's um, really, really sad, so it is. And just throughout the whole rest of the episode, um, it's sort of like a really down moment. And then towards the end, it actually starts picking up. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend you check out Love, Hannah, and then check out the Christmas movie. It's definitely worth watching. And as I said... I still love watching it, um, but yeah. So the next movie I'm going to talk about is The Grinch. Now, it's not the one that everyone seems to remember and love, the uh, the cartoon one. Um, I'm not going to lie, the cartoon one is very, very good, but I'm talking about the live action one with Jim Carrey. Um, a lot of people absolutely hate this movie, and to be honest, I absolutely love it. I just find it really, really funny. Um, by all means, it's not a good movie. Um, but I think Jim Carrey just did his best to portray the character as best as he could. He gives some really funny faces. So he can really show his expressions in that suit and with all that makeup on his face. Um, he did have some genuine, uh, genuine funny moments in the actual movie. Um, it is definitely not as good as the original, but as I said, I did not watch the original um, when I was younger. Um, to be honest, I did not grow up reading the Dr. Zeus books at all. I was more into Roald Dahl when I was younger, and I loved all his books. But uh, this movie, I still love. I watch it every single year without fail. I either watch it on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I watch it with my brothers or my sister. Or I just watch it by myself. I just absolutely love the movie. And it's definitely something which I'm probably not going to stop uh, watching every single year. So this movie is a much older movie, which a lot of you know, people probably have not watched unless their mothers and fathers are watching it around them when they were younger. And that is It's a Wonderful Life. This is a cult classic around Christmas time that a lot of people like to watch. Um, I started watching this because my mother loves this movie and she's a huge fan of Jim Stewart as well, who stars in it. Um... If you've not watched it before, Jim Stewart's character, George Billy, has given up all his dreams to help people out, but 
on Christmas Eve when the movie's set. He is on the verge of suicide and that's when he meets his guardian angel called Clarence. And Clarence comes down and shows him how he's helped other people and what it would be like for the... So my next one is A Muppet's Christmas Carol. Um, there's definitely lots of versions of the classic Charles Dickinson novel out there. And this one is my favourite because I grew up watching The Muppets. And I actually remember having this on a VHS tape, uh, which I recorded from TV. And I absolutely wore the shit out of that tape. Um, it's just an absolute great, it's an absolute great movie. Um... It's got some great funny moments. It's got some really dark moments. Uh, Michael Caine did an absolutely fantastic job playing Scro Ebenezer Scrooge. Just overall, I think it's really, really great. And it's definitely one of the better movies of the Muppets out there as well. Um, but I think it was really well put together. And yeah, just absolutely fantastic movie in my eyes anyway. Um, I don't know what other people think of this movie because I've actually never seen anyone else talk about this movie. But um, for me, it's definitely one of my favourite um, movies. So I like to watch every single Christmas. So next we have Home Alone. Home Alone's one of those movies which I think is not going to stop being talked about. Even in 30 years time, I can still see people talking about this movie. And for a good reason, it is a very, very good movie. Um, even the sequel, Home Alone 2, is very, very good. It's not as good as the first one, but I still think it is very well done. And even though it does take a lot of gags from the first one, just reuses them, um, it's still a very good movie. And... I actually started watching the third one more now as well. The third one, I don't think is as good as the other two either, but I still think it just has some really, really genuinely funny moments. And at least the traps are a little bit um, different and at least sort of mixed it up with the characters as well. Changing the characters instead of being Harry and Marv, they used new ones. So yeah, um, I just think this movie's can be praised enough. Um, I definitely have to say the sequels aren't as good as the original, but I still love the movies nonetheless. Lastly, we have Jingle the Way. Jingle the Way, and I'm not going to lie, I did not like that when I was growing up. Um, I actually only started one to it when my brothers and sisters were growing up, and my brother and sister were growing up, and I started watching it with the Emmons because they always seemed to bloody watch it at Christmas time. Um, they don't anymore, but I still enjoy watching it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Orny. I'm not going to lie. I like a lot of his movies. And this is one movie which I still get a good laugh out of watching. I genuinely think this has some really funny moments and some really funny one-liners. Um, Sinbad did get a really good job of being the rival to Oz Schwarzenegger. He has some genuinely funny moments too. Um... It has some hot warm moments as well, but yeah, I don't think it's a really good movie, but I don't think it's a really bad one either. I just think it's somewhere in between. Um, but yeah, that's what I pretty much think about that movie. If you haven't watched it, uh, go watch it. Like I would recommend all the other movies on this list. Um, and thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, guys, from both me and Private Mittens. We will see you next year for more videos from us. Thank you for supporting our videos. And if you haven't subscribed to us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell to keep informed about our videos because um, I'm not even too sure if half of you guys are getting half of our videos when we upload. Uh, see you next year, guys. Keep on gaming and I will see you next time.